what's up everyone welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome to my channel my name is Meg I'm happy to have you and um, yeah if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button I do put out content a couple days a week so if you don't want to miss out on anything then you will always be notified in your news feed when my new content is out so today I just did like a reverse smoky eye is um, Chris and Dominic here on YouTube she just uploaded a tutorial and I really like the concept behind it and I was really inspired by it so I decided to sort of recreate her look for myself and um, I used a couple different colors I didn't do it exactly like hers um, but yeah if you guys would like to see how I got this then keep watching and by the way I apologize for the lack of actual like tutorials and like sit down talk through tutorials um, I feel like <laughs> I realized the other day how much I haven't been doing actual tutorials, but it feels like it because I'm doing the 100 days of makeup challenge, which you guys should check, definitely check out. And as you can see, nothing has changed. I still can't talk. But anyways, if you want to see how I got this look today, then keep on watching and we can get right into it. Alright, so the first thing that we want to do is lay down a transition shade. So I'm going to go ahead and take down Undone by Urban Decay, and this is seriously like <laughs> transition shade that I use every time and it's this second color right here it is like the perfect transition shade for my skin tone so I'm just going to go ahead and take a big fluffy brush and I'm not really going to worry about being precise with this or anything I'm just going to kind of lay it down um, into the crease and then this is from the Vice 3 palette in case you were wondering and then there is um, a little bit of fallout with these so that's something to keep in mind. All right, so now that we have that laid it down, um, you can go ahead and actually go ahead and play with color if you wanted because we're not really focusing anything else to the upper part of our eye since all the drama and everything is gonna be on the lower lash line. I think that if you really wanted to like mix in like maybe like a hue of orange or something that could look really nice and I think I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. So I'm pulling out my Morphe 35O palette. This is the original one. And I don't want it to be like too super orange. I know that this looks kind of orange on camera, but it's more brown in person. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of this and blend it into the crease as well. This is like the perfect color because it's not going to be like too orange or too dark because that's the thing we want to keep it a little bit on the lighter side um, on the upper part of our eye. So I'm just lightly dusting that and I am getting it on my lid a little bit but that's okay it can easily be cleaned up. Or if you wanted to you could put this color all over your lid as well it's really up to you and like what you're feeling. So now I'm just going to go in one more time with that brown undone color and just sort of blend everything together and just make sure everything is blended out nice. And then if you guys can tell I am sort of bringing this a little further up than where my actual crease line ends. Um, and then again that's just because all the drama is going to be down below so I feel like you can get away with blending up into a higher crease if you wanted to. So what I think I'm going to do for the lid is just take like any sort of neutral color and I'm going to mix it with the orange to lighten it. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and take this color and mix it with the lightest color in this palette and put that on my lid. And just for the hell of it, I'm just going to go ahead and use the same fluffy brush because why not? So I dabbed a little bit of orange and mostly got white in there. If you want this to be super precise, of course, you could just use like a flat shader brush to put it on my lid, but I'm not too worried about it, so I'm just doing it like I am. It's also fine doing it like this as well because I'm not doing like a cut crease look, so it's okay if like the lid blurs with the crease a little bit, and then you just want to go ahead and give it an all over blend just to make sure everything looks nice and seamless. All right, so now that we got that, we're going to work on smoking out the lower lash line. And then also, actually, while we're up on the top, I'm going to go ahead and take that matte white from the Morphe palette. And this is just an angled brush, and I really like using angled brushes for the brow bone because I feel like it can help you, like, help give you a little... 
I like using the angled brushes for the brow bone because it's a lot easier to shape because it's kind of already built in for you. So if you ever blend up too high or something or you're worried about your edges not being smooth, a good trick is to take like a matte white shadow and just sort of polish things up over there. And then again, also off to the side, if you really wanted to sharpen up any lines, you could go ahead and do the same thing as well. Now we're going to go ahead and get started on the lower lash line. So the first thing you want to do, you want to work um, your way at light to dark. So basically, of course I dropped the brush that I want. Right, so a lot of my brushes are really dirty, so I'm kind of limited on what I'm using, but I'm using this uh, crown brush. And this is just like such a flimsy little thing. It came in my Ipsy bag. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it's going to work for what we're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that undone color with the orange color and put that on the lower lash line and really smoke it out. So it's like you kind of like almost want to like squint your eyes so you can see where your under eye area is, like your under eye bag. And you basically just like really want to get into that area. So I can kind of see like most of my wrinkles are like right to there. So that's where I'm going to focus most of the color. And then you can just always blend up into the crease. So now we have that. And I know it looks crazy now, but it's going to come together, I promise. Okay, so now that we look a little bit like a crazy person, it is time to add some depth to this look. So now I'm just gonna take a smaller shader brush and this is just um, from My Glam, so this is an Ipsy brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and work on taking warmer and deeper browns. Um, if you have the Morphe 35O palette's perfect for it. Um, right now I'm just gonna pull DTF from my Vice palette and then this is like my second favorite matte brown color. It's nice and taupey. I'm a huge fan of taupey cool tone brown. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that on the brush. And then again, just kind of like exaggerate the under eye bag. And then work on blending that in with everything with the lower lash line you don't really have to do like too much work to it you just want to slowly work on building up and darkening and then now from the morphe 35 oh i'm going to go ahead and take this brown color right here it's pretty dark should work I'm just taking a little bit and then that's the trick with smoky eyes is once you get darker the less product you want to take because the easier it is to build up and the easier it is to fix mistakes. So I'm also going closer and closer to my lash line with every layer that I'm doing this if it makes sense. And I think I maybe I might have done this a little bit too low. I think I might have gotten a little too low but we can always fix that later at the end. A lot of times I do makeup looks for the first time on camera so I really don't know what the hell I'm doing. So we just kind of go with the flow. So that color wasn't really too different from the DTF so I'm going to go ahead and just start taking darker colors that are in this Morphe palette. Okay, so now I'm actually going to go ahead and switch over to this Morphe M408 brush. And I love this because this is like the perfect like little smudgy brush for your lower lash line. And this thing is like amazing. I'm going to go back into my Vice 3 palette and I'm going to take the color Defy. And this is like a matte gray color right here. It's almost like a charcoal. And I'm going to work on building up my lash, lash line with that. Okay, so now we have that. And I'm just going to go ahead and do one final thing. Now I'm really running low. This is like another Ipsy brush and I'm just going to go ahead and take a black shadow, any black shadow that you have, and I'm going to really pack that on to the lash line. So for example, I'm using Revolver from Urban Decay just because it's in front of me. My favorite is Blackout by Urban Decay because it's the blackest matte and I'm just really getting that into the lashes. Alright, so I'm going to go once over with that original orange shade that we used and just like blend it just so that color is still a little bit popping underneath. I have a feeling I will be cleaning this up a little bit, my lower lash line, but I want to get my liner on before I go ahead and do that. 
we have a couple different options here if you have like a pair of like super dramatic lashes and you just want to go with that you can totally do it and not do liner but I am going to go ahead and do a winged liner because in Kristen's video that's what she did and I really thought it pulled everything together so I'm gonna go ahead and work on doing that so the liner that I'm using today is the Illamasqua precision ink liner I'm sorry about all the background noise I like just realized that the window was open and I probably should have closed it. So when I'm doing a wing, I just really like to start off and get the base line down and then I work on creating my wing and then I adjust how thick it needs to be as I'm going. All right, so off camera, I went ahead and I applied mixed jumbo pencil and milk to my waterline because I just really like how it opens my eyes, and makes my eyes pop, especially when I'm doing like darker colors or like a really thick wing. I just really like the effect that it has. Um, I use my CoverGirl, the Super Sizer Mascara, and then also Jordana's Bust Lash Extreme. And then before I blend um, my falsies with my regular mascara, I just want to go over really fast. These are the Socialize in for Get Me Not, and I love these, um, but they've been worn like one too many times, like it's time for them to be done. But I really don't have any other falsies, so this is what I'm working with. All right, so for lips, I'm going to go ahead and take this Mary Kay Lip Liner, and this is in Rose, I do believe, no, neutral. And I really like this because it does have a little bit more of a pinky tone to it. It's not super brown. So as you guys can see, I sort of did a little bit of an ombre with the lip liner just because I didn't want to put it on the center of my lips. And then for actual lip color, this is something from an Ipsy bag, and this is Pacifica. Natural Minerals Power of Love Powerful Lipstick Natural Color and this is in Nudie Red. So I think the title of this pretty much describes the color. It is like a nice nudie red and I thought it would complement the eyes. So let's go ahead and see if this works. Alright, so here is the finished look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, learned something cool and new, and I will catch you next time. Bye!